welcome back or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. In today's video, we are talking all about eyeliner, specifically winged eyeliner. This video is for all of you out there who seem to draw your eyeliner, open up your eyes and you're like, and I, oh, where'd my eyeliner go? And make sure you guys watch to the very end of this video because I'm gonna be throwing in a special little tip that's gonna make sure your eyeliner is smudge proof, bulletproof, stay all day, ain't coming off until you take it off, okay? Okay, so go and grab your eyeliner. You can use any eyeliner that you are comfortable with, but if you're a beginner and you're like, I don't know what kind of eyeliner to use, my personal favorite is a gel liner pencil. So taking your gel liner, I like to start in the very inner corner and almost start to kind of tight line that area. I don't like to go on the very top part of the eye because I feel like if I were to do that, it would make my eyes look a lot smaller. So if you guys have Asian eyes, hooded eyes, small eyes, try tight lining the inner corner. After that, you start to move on to the upper eyelid. So we're not tight lining just yet, but in small strokes, you know, you don't have to do like one swoop line. The trick here is to make this liner as thin as possible because when we open our eyes, we still want to see our eyeshadow and all that hard work that we've done, but we still want to see eyeliner. Does that make sense? So a really easy trick you guys can use to make sure your eyeliner is angled evenly on both sides is to place your eyeliner pencil at the tip of your nose and then at the edge of your eye. And you guys can notice that it will give you kind of a guide on where your eyeliner should go. If it makes you feel more confident, you can even create a dot on both ends and then connect them to make sure that there's the same angle and then the same length. But I feel like if you think about it too much like that, sometimes your eyeliner doesn't look as great. Do it with gusto, with enthusiasm. <laughs> A trick that I do every single day is instead of going from the top or lower lash line, I go right in the middle and I start to kind of drag that out towards the tail of my brow. So let's say you made a mistake and the line is a little bit wonky, it's not as straight and sharp as you would want it to be, what do you do? The first thing that you want to do is let it dry down just a little bit. You don't want it too wet because that can end up smearing and ruin your entire face. So do let it dry down just a little bit but not too long because this eyeliner tends to set really really quickly. And all you're going to use is a q-tip and you're just going to run a line right there and drag it out and then you can use your beauty blender with some leftover foundation to kind of clean everything up and then here is where you start to connect it so taking the tip pulling it down do you see that we just pulled it down and now we're gonna fill it in and then to just make it really clean and cohesive I just like to tight line with the eyeliner and it just makes everything so sultry, so dramatic. Now it's time to set your eyeliner. Like how you powder and set your face, we are going to set your eyeliner if you want it to stay all day long. So grabbing a black eyeshadow, it can be literally any black eyeshadow you want. I'm just going in with an angled brush and I'm just going to pat the black into the eyeliner. You can even go in with this angle brush and start to kind of fix the shape a little bit more, like extend it if you want like a little bit sharper. If you guys have long nails like I do, you guys can do what I'm doing and just kind of start to scrape the shape together to make it that sharp edge. But if you don't have nails, don't worry, just use a Q-tip like I've been telling you guys to. Well, I hope you guys learned some tips and tricks. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys click that subscribe button and ring that bell to make sure you guys are up to date with all future uploads. In the meantime, make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram at Aiden's Choice. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.